your roof. It's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions. Exterior Home Solutions two minute drill. Tennessee loses to Alabama 34 to 20, Eric, and 20 to seven. Yeah. Tennessee led at the half and, and looked so good in the first half. Joe Milton, 175 yards through the air, another 40 on the ground. Tennessee looked like they could do no wrong on defense. And then halftime happened. Alabama made some adjustments. Tennessee did not. I thought Alabama kind of, you know, had the refs on their side a little bit, but that's not why Tennessee lost the game. Yeah. Alabama made adjustments. Jalen Melrose played really solid in the second half, and Tennessee kind of botched a couple of fourth down calls on their side of the field. They come away and win this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a tale of two halves. Um, Tennessee not only controlled the first half, but really in parts of the first half dominated this football game and, uh, again, had a, had a double, you know, two-score lead at the half. And, and you knew it wasn't over, right? And you knew that you would rather have scored touchdowns instead of having field goals there in the first half on some of those possessions. But you still had a two-score lead. Um, you come up and give a couple of big plays, and then it felt like all the momentum was just snapped. And, and you're right. Um, Man, some, some very questionable fourth down decisions uh, in this football game. Um, I thought for the most part, you know, up until the very end, but really uh, until this game was uh, decided, Tennessee handled the environment very well, uh, I, I thought. Like in terms of not playing behind the sticks, uh, Joe Milton played really, really well, especially in the first half. Uh, of course, there's some throws and some sequences he liked to have back. But, sure. um, yeah, it, it's, it's really a tell of two halves, a game that Tennessee very easily could have won, but ultimately Alabama came out and smacked them in the face in the second half. Yeah, you, two play drive to start the second half, boom. Yeah. Then the the weird call for a fair catch, Tennessee had to start the four, three runs and a punt, and Bama tacks on a field goal. And then Bill Rowe was able to extend plays. They rolled him out a little bit more. He ran it and had a little more success in the second half. Uh, and then Tennessee, you know, just had no answer on offense. Yeah. I mean, Joe Milton, 175 in the first half, just a little over 50 in the second. This this looked very, very different. Yeah, couldn't run the football either. And really, Tennessee didn't make a habit of running the football with success with his tailbacks. I mean, Joe had some success, but you know, couldn't get that going. And again, when you're when you're getting stuffed on first down, it makes second and nine all the more challenging. Then when you get stuffed or maybe lose a, a yard or two on first down or have an incomplete pass, then you go hurry up, run up the middle second down and, and get stuffed. Before you know it, you're third and nine, you're third and ten. And that's where Tennessee lived in the second half. Uh, not a great start again. Defensively, those big plays you mentioned, uh, special teams mishaps um, did not do anything, do any favors. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, Tennessee just all the momentum it had, it was gone. And, and Alabama made those adjustments, and they made Tennessee pay in the second half. And, and Tennessee really could just never find its footing in that second half of play. No, not at all. And I mean, again, Alabama was good enough to make those adjustments and, and make plays. No. But then again, Tennessee was playing against the referees in the second half a little bit. Alabama came in averaging six and a half penalties per game. They had one tonight, a pre-snap penalty. There were multiple games this year where Alabama had double-digit penalties and, and were very undisciplined. You look at the screenshots on Twitter, Tyler Barron repeatedly hailed yeah. Squirrel White on that next to last possession. Again, Tennessee was down 14 at this point, but he was mauled, no mm -hmm. call. Um, it, that, that happened a lot. And again, I asked Josh Heupel about it after the game. He just kind of sat there silent and then said, next question, was that long enough silence? And, and, and I think that tells you where he thinks it was. But again, though, they made mistakes on the offensive side of the ball tonight. The play calling was not to be desired in that second half. Yeah, I think Josh Heupel was just frustrated after the game. Obviously, um, a, a game where you had control in, you lose, you lose to, uh, you lose a football game, you lose to a rival, you lose on the road. He didn't have his best game. The, the calls weren't going against him uh, in terms of the officiating. Um, it was just a frustrating night for Josh Heupel. And, and to your point, I, I would agree with you. There were some calls for the officiating that were just kind of head-scratching. We've seen it every single week. Um, there was a defensive holding call, and again, I'll have to go back and check the replay, but that was a huge point in this football game. Tennessee needed to get off the field on third down, and it couldn't because of a defensive hold. Um, it was just kind of tic-tac-y like that in the second half, but any way you want to spin it, it's Tennessee's ball game that it lost, and it was just it was a horrible, horrible final 30 minutes. Second half at Florida, or second quarter at Florida, Third quarter here, yeah. two quarters that, that you know you go back. I mean Tennessee could easily be seven and zero. Instead, they're five and two. Tennessee cannot let Alabama beat them twice. Yeah. Kentucky will be formidable next week in Lexington. Tennessee has a chance to be six and two, for only the second time since Philip Fulmer was fired, heading into the month of November. That other time was last year when they were undefeated, heading into the month of November. So a lot still left to play for, but. I get the Vol fans' frustrations. Oh yeah, they felt like they had a real shot in this one, especially when they let trailed twenty to, or when they led twenty to seven at the half. 
but it's not to be 27 unanswered from the tide. 34-20 the final. For Eric Kane, I'm Austin Price for the Exterior Home Solutions 2-Minute Drill.